Here I'm going to demonstrate the blowing of a Christmas ball ornament in under three minutes using my small electric furnace design. First I'll film it complete from a distance showing the whole process and then I'll zoom in and show each stage separately. Because of the way the gathering is done from the furnace, I can uh, hold it down to about here. Yeah, right here I'm beginning to feel heat. So it's amazing how cool the blowpipes stay. If it's a little bit soft, I just give it a minute or so before I start to inflate. If it winds up not being round, you can blow in the down direction, which inflates it downward. And if it becomes too elongated, you can blow up. And that will bring it back down again into a circle. But there's no need to ever touch the outside of this while inflating it with any kind of a block or tool because gravity and rotation, you can get a perfect circle almost every time. First thing I do is the placement of the colors in the furnace. While the colors are melting, I take the first gather. A square of glass, about an inch and a half square, and this will be used to color the entire gather. So while it's melting, I'll, I'll take the first gather. As I start to blow the bubble, I cool the sides of the bubble, and that way the pressure elongates through the soft glass at the end. There, so it's, uh, it's fully inflated now, and uh, I'll hold my thumb up here for comparison. So it's about the diameter of a wine cork, and the, the entire length of the gather on the rod is probably the length of a wine cork, but of course only half of that is the usable area. Now I'll go in and pick up the colors and take the second gather. Now it looks a little bit big, so what I'll do is I'll plunge it down a little deeper than I need to to ensure that I take all the color out of the pot. Stage I'll show is the plunging in the optic mold immediately after the second gather has been marvered a little bit. See, there is a, a small amount of adjustment you can make while pressing to center it.
the smaller that diameter is at the beginning, the better, because it makes a much smaller hole you have to cover with the cap. By rotating it while blowing, it's easy to get it fairly well centered on the pipe, even if the gather's a little bit lopsided. So I press it down to cover the entire hole, move it over to one side, lift up, and cut it off. And then I very carefully take that piece, curl it over, and jam it down into the hot glass. And then I lift the entire thing up from the scissor blade and put it in the annealer.